Hey everyone, you are right. <laughs> I haven't done this video for ages now, you know, um, it's Sunday um, and um, I'm just feeling really um, content today, I'm feeling really content, especially when I'm around, um, you know, God's creation and, um, and nature, I love it, I love it, yeah, it really heals me. Um, because I know we have an amazing creator who created this beautiful place that we call Earth. Uh, we are the guardians of this garden, you know. We're supposed to take care of it because it takes care of us. Look at the sheep. <laughs> and this is why I can't move back to London, you know. Even though that is my home, that's my manor, man, that's my end. But um, I can have short bursts of it, but I have to come back here. This is where I find peace. And what I call God has given me heaven here on earth, just being around nature. So today um, I had a sermon that I was um, listening to on Zoom and uh, it was amazing because it was all about it was all about <laughs> Jehovah and uh, you know he, his merciful ways and how we're supposed to um, you know also forgive those who do wrong to us. Continue forgiving. How many times? Seventy times seven. That's how many times you continue doing it because um, you know we're we're also no good in it. Um, there's no one who's good. No, not one. And yet we, we get hurt, we get hurt. Um, especially when you identify yourself as, I am hurt because someone done this to me. When you do that, you then can't let shit go. So you gotta just, you gotta really, really analyze that. Like, where is that hurt? Yes, you are Ranju. You're Ranju who is vulnerable to get hurt. That's what God told me. And whoever done whatever they done, wasn't done to you. That's their issue. <laughs> yeah? You carry on how God made you to be kind, considerate. You don't have to be angry. You don't have to be sad like that. You can have moments of, um, you know, these emotions can be felt, released. Of course, crying is great. Cry too. Unto God, tell him your your feelings and whatnot. <laughs> I do that. I had a really difficult last year, it really was. And this year, I had to take time out for work and just focus on my art, focus on God, pray and fast in, and really have come back to a really great balance of walking in the spirit. And that is a lot to do with how I've always kind of been in the spiritual realm, you know, even if it was the dark realm, I was always aware of the spiritual realm because I was never in this world, mate. You know, you come from a dysfunctional background, family, you don't want to be here. <laughs> you want to be somewhere else. So yeah, you know, I was deceived by the devil in many ways, but you know, I know how to walk in the spirit. I do know. I know what it means like you are in this world, but not of it. So it was easy for me to, um, you know, connect with that. You know, I walk in the spirit wherever I go. I don't do anything without God's permission. He gives me lessons which I need to go through. And we have this communication, me and God, you know. And it's a story of Job everywhere, you know. Everyone's going through what we call, um, or, or the world calls a hero's journey. It's actually Job's story, you know. Blessings are given, then taken, and then given again. If you're obedient and if you are faithful to God and that you go, go through the sufferings enduring it all the way through <laughs> and he's refining you like silver making you strong because we'll be a bit ready for his army man you know, you've got to be strong in the spirit physically I'm strong mentally I'm strong spiritually <laughs> I'm really really strong I am I'd rather be in the spiritual realm, you know, but more and more I am actually enjoying the, the beauty of being in nature. I've only been here for years and to me this is home that he's given me until I really have returned home, innit? So, yeah, and um, yeah, 
having my CBD oil in this for my menopause. It's helping my nerves and I'm using it medicinally. God has been kind to me. He's always been there, you know, he's protector, provider. He loves me, he corrects me. <laughs> he does everything for me. He's my love, my first love. And many, my children, my fellow, I love them. And my brothers, sisters, everywhere. My parents, everywhere. You know, I love people. I don't like to be angry, but I've had anger issues for such a long time from childhood that um, I've been working on myself, a work in progress for a long time and I've managed. But um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, so constant, um, you know, battle as well as, uh, you know, lessons to be learnt and to kind of move on forward and onward Christian soldiers. Marching on to war in the Jesus. No, no, no. I forgot. <laughs> I've got to learn that again. Yeah, I love that. Mate, that's solid, isn't it? We've got to have Christian soldiers. Tough, 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 mate. No fluffy business. Anyway, I'm going to shoot off and uh, um, check on the dog and cat, how they are together. <laughs> and Matthew, of course. <laughs> anyway, all right, catch you later. Love you lots and God bless you. Pray for each other, isn't it? That's a Christian thing. We pray for each other. I pray for you, you pray for me. God bless you.